So you're looking for a home workout plan, eh? Well, in this video, I'm not only gonna show you a structure of how you can actually create your own home workout plan, I'm also gonna show you what you do on rest days and how you can go about that so we can actually structure a full week for you of how you can, you know, work out at home, create your own plan to help you create the success you desire in your health and fitness, right? So. Let's dive into it. So let's start with the workout split, right? Now, obviously with a workout split, we have a few different options. And I think, especially if we're doing body weight and calisthenics based workouts at home, as this is what this YouTube channel is about, obviously we primarily focus on compound exercises where we're kind of utilizing the majority of our body, if not our whole body, all in you know one specific exercise and our exercises we select as a whole. So obviously if we were to do you know these types of bro splits and splitting up all these muscle groups in different days, obviously we're probably gonna under recover from um, how much our body demands of it from calisthenics body exercises. So it's best to treat it by actually working your body more in synergy the way it's supposed to work and how it likes to work right so with that said you know from what i found from what has worked for me and what has also worked for my clients best is uh obviously one option is full body three times a week uh, another one is upper lower two times a week each which is uh four days a week in total or especially if i've had clients who cannot commit to four days a week and need a plan that's more respectful of their time whether it's actually a busy working schedule or they play sports or compete in a sport at a high level so they need more recovery then we may do something like upper lower full body so that adds up to three days a week. An example of full body would be, as I said, on long consecutive days, three days a week. That would be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or Wednesday, Friday, Sunday as an example. And then upper lower would be something like Monday upper, Tuesday lower, Thursday upper, Friday lower. And then the upper lower full body would look like something like you know, Monday upper, Tuesday lower, and then Friday full body. Obviously the days I haven't mentioned would be your rest days. And of course you can actually tweak this structure to whatever best fits you. So full body, typically I find full body works uh, amazingly for beginners, especially when new to calisthenics and learning the fundamental exercises like push-ups, pull-ups, squats and such. And then it can also work progressing onto the intermediate stage. And then I found that once we get to the intermediate stage, we can then work with upper and lower routines. So we can focus more on each uh, part of the body to get more volume and actually make more progress and focus more on each part. See what I mean? Use these as a guideline and then tailor it to your own needs. So as we've got the workout days covered, let's cover the rest days, right? Because really it's very hard to know what to do on rest days, you know, especially myself when uh, I began my fitness journey, I thought that the more work I put in, the more results I'd get in return. So obviously I was like, okay, I got to do something on a rest day. And I was like, oh, I could do a 10 minute hit workout so I can burn a ton of calories, keep my metabolism up. And so I can burn more calories and build more muscle and strength in my workouts, right? And obviously uh, sometimes in life, you've got to learn the hard way with certain things. And so obviously when I then realized that obviously a hit workout, right, on a rest day, is uh, obviously counterintuitive if you've got no more rest days in the week, right? Uh, obviously, uh, my progress just really hit a plateau. I struggled to make progress. Um, so I realized, you know, the solution is not working harder. It's actually working smarter, right? So I actually do the opposite now on rest days. Uh, not just what I do, what I advocate to clients is, you know, I still think it's important to actually keep your body moving on rest days, but you don't have to do it to the extent where it becomes a workout, right? Remember, your workout days are for your workouts to actually train hard and stimulate your muscles to grow. Whereas on a rest day, the purpose is to rest and recover so you can give your muscles the recovery it needs to regrow stronger, right? So a few options for you, right? You could do some light mobility stuff, such as one of my follow along mobility routines, which I link up here on the YouTube channel for you. Another one could be doing some jump rope as it's very low impact and low intensity. If you actually keep it low intensity rather than going absolute berserk with like a thousand double unders, right? And you know, with that, I mean, you don't necessarily have to do jump rope. I mean, you could do any form of cardio activity that is actually a hobby that you actually enjoy doing, like walking, hiking, uh, playing a sport of yours if you compete in any sports, or, you know, sometimes I think as well, um, you know, swimming is another example. Swimming's a good one. Swimming's a very good one. And I mean, cycling. Cycling's a good one as well. The list goes on, right? I can go on all day. But my point is, is also another good thing to do on rest days is actually to do nothing, right? Actually do nothing and completely just unwind right unplug I, I do this especially on mondays as mondays are a very busy day for me with client check-ins um and i mean sometimes it's good to just unplug and just 
let your body fully recuperate, right? I think, you know, the gains train is not gonna depart if you have one day where you don't dedicate to a exercise plan or that. I mean, really, it's very mentally refreshing and um, you're gonna be fine, my friend. Just chill, relax, get your priorities done so you can still stay on top of your health and fitness, right? Another thing, you know, my coach Phil from The Mindful Mover, um, he does a lot of meditating and reading on rest days, right? It doesn't really require any physical exertion, but you can still actually improve your mental health and strengthen your mind, because obviously, if you actually strengthen your mind and improve your mental condition, then your physical condition and your physical health is gonna improve as a byproduct because the mind tells the body what to do. You know what I'm saying? My point is, is that even on rest days, you don't have to break a sweat to actually make progress, right? So we've got the workout days, we've got the rest days, but what about our actual workout routine? And that's a very good point. And so really here, I've got a few different options for you. Of course, I have like dozens and dozens of workout videos on this YouTube channel, right? Uh, which you can follow along with. Uh, if you're looking for more structure, I do actually have a beginner at home program and a free intermediate program. Again, both of them are free and you can download them um, on my website, which I'll link in the description below. Free at home programs. Again, they're completely free. You can just put your email list and I'll send them to you. And obviously another option is that if you're looking for a more personalized approach where the guesswork is taken out for you and not only you've given the clear guidance and strategy, right? But you're also held accountable to achieve your health and fitness goals and create the success you want in your body transformation. And of course, that is where my online coach comes into play with my clients where um, I provide at home workouts to help you achieve the health and fitness goals that you specifically desire. So if that is something that you would like to commit to, then of course um, you can check out the link in the description below or to keep it simple as well, I can link up my website here, www.changingcastx.co.uk and you can actually schedule a free consultation with me where we can chat about your goals, what excites you, what motivates you and to see you know, if we'd be a great fit to work together based on what you need, right? So like I said, if you enjoyed this video, you like my content, you enjoyed watching every single minute and every single second of this video, make sure to give this video a cheeky thumbs up and comment down below what your at-home workout plan is looking like. Comment down below, I'll be curious to know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on that post ding, notification because I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday to help you build more muscle and lose more fat with body weight training at home, right? So you're not going to want to miss out on the gains. If you feel this video would benefit a friend, friends, family members, dogs, whatever, right? Feel free to share that with them so they could also get on the Gains for Express and so that's enough for me today. Have enjoyed the rest of your dear friend as a crew member of the Gains for Express. Keep moving forward. Me and Alfie will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video. Signing out. <laughs>